So becoming a homeowner is a monumental achievement and nothing that should be scoffed at. Today though, I want to talk to you about the things you're going to love and perhaps, I'm not going to say hate, but not so love about being a homeowner. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team and Remax Professionals here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And if you haven't been to our channel before, welcome. We're glad you're here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you continue to see our content. We're coming out with a ton of it this year. Home ownership really is an emotional roller coaster. So there are highs and there are lows. And there's a lot of considerations I want you to make before you get into home ownership, just to make sure it's right for you. But let's start this on a positive. Let's talk about the reasons you are going to love home ownership. The first, personalization and freedom. You are going to love being able to make your space your own. There is a real pride that comes with getting to decorate, paint, you name it, do whatever you want with your space. I know that's stuff you can't necessarily do when you're in a rental. So it's really this newfound sense of freedom that many people find and love and they love to put their own personal touch on their property. Number two is the investment in the equity piece. So historically, especially in Winnipeg anyways, if you are buying a home, you are making monthly payments, part of that monthly payment goes towards the pay down of your principal. And of course, you're also riding that appreciation wave, hopefully appreciation wave. I will say we haven't really seen a recessionary uh, market here in Winnipeg in, in years. Uh, so historically, at least in Winnipeg, it's safe to say riding that inflation all the way to the top while also paying down that principal amount and building that equity. Number three is the sense of stability. So unlike in a rental, nobody can come and evict you from your home, of course, so that's as long as you're making your payments. But even in situations where we hear of tenants making their regular monthly payments, we hear of horrible stories where the landlord decides to sell regardless, and now they have to move, even if they've been consistently making those payments and taking care of the property over the years. That won't happen if you own the property. You now own it, uh, you're making those payments, it is yours, there is stability there. Number four is community connection. I always see this uh, much more deeply so when people are investing into a community. If somebody is buying a home, this is not a short-term play. This is not a one-year lease. They are planning to usually be there for a minimum of five years for the economics to make sense. And as a result, home buyers are really, really investing in their community. So, that means not only taking care of their yards, but it's also getting to know their neighbors, building those deep roots, getting involved in community activities, sports, events, you name it. Uh, it really is an investment into the community uh, for the betterment of you and your family. Number five, there are also tax benefits that come with being a homeowner. I'm not gonna delve too deeply into these. This is something you'll definitely want to consult though with your accountant on to see what kind of tax benefits would apply to you in your situation. But I assure you there are definitely some tax benefits to be taken advantage of here. Number six, so similar to putting your own stamp on the place, I'm also talking here about home improvement projects. And I'm not just talking small projects, this is where people really like get into the renovation side of things and really make things their own. There's a true pride that comes with when you've planned and worked hard and saved and executed that plan and got the details just how you want them in those home renovations. The ability to enhance your surroundings is a true, true home ownership perk and something that should not be taken lightly. Not to mention, there's some forced appreciation that comes in play there too. Step number seven is the, the memories you'll create within the space. So similar to how I said this is not a short-term play, whereas we might see leases for a one-year term, you're buying a home for a minimum of five years. Five years is a substantial amount of time. It's enough time to grow a family. It's enough time to meet someone and get married. It's enough time to complete a degree. It's a number of things. So five years is a substantial amount of time that you can commit to building great memories in this stable home that you have now built for yourself. Your home can truly become a repository of cherished memories. 
Now I feel like those are all really good reasons to buy a home, but let's also get into some of the challenges you might face as a result of home ownership. So the first being financial responsibilities. I would be lying if I said that home ownership does not come with financial responsibilities. There is definitely upside in that you are building your equity as you live within the home and you are paying the mortgage down and inflation is occurring. However, you also have other expenses you're going to want to consider that might not come with the rental side of things. So for instance, property taxes, home insurance, uh, and then of course maintenance type items too. Also there will always be inevitably an unforeseen repair, uh, whether it be a plumbing leak, an appliance breaking, you name it, things will happen. And when you own a home, you are responsible for repairing these things. Your landlord is not. Uh, as a rough rule of thumb, what I tell people is every year set aside about 2% of your home's purchase price to plan to put back into your home. This is not just for emergencies and accidentals and appliances breaking, things going wrong, but this is also investing into the home. So we're talking about perhaps saving up for a new roof. We're talking about having money set aside in case the furnace does go out. We're talking about money set aside for renovations too. It can run the whole gamut, but plan to put aside about 2% and have a, an ongoing list of the age of all your major mechanicals so that you're aware of essentially what should be going and what should be replaced. Another challenge you'll face are market fluctuations. So. In Winnipeg, for the most part, this has always been good. If we look at 50 years of history, 47 of those years were increases in value. Pretty darn good if you ask me. It's a pretty good gamble to invest in Winnipeg. However, there's no denying that there can be economic downturns, in which case the value of your home could go down. It's just one of those things. You're at the mercy of the market at that point. The good news, though, is that if you are in that same boat, so is everybody else. You are not on an island all by yourself in which your home has lost value and nobody else's has. Uh, you have now hedged your bets by riding the market with everyone else. I touched upon this already, but maintenance and repairs, I do just want to drill that home one more time. There is no landlord coming in to save you at 2 a.m. if your toilet starts leaking. These now do become your uh, expenses. So. Just keep in mind that you are going to want to have a plumber on speed dial, an electrician, you name it. It's good to have a good Rolodex. I'm dating myself, aren't I? Uh, set aside so that you know who to call in the event something does go wrong. And if you don't know who to call, reach out to your realtor. I predict they have a solid book of recommendations that they can send your way. I know we do. And the last reason that perhaps home ownership could be a challenge is a lack of flexibility. So what I mean by that is unlike renting a home, selling a home does take time. It also takes a good amount of uh, investment and strategy and preparation. So some of the expenses you're going to incur when you're looking at selling versus if you're just moving out of a rental are things like land transfer taxes, lawyer fees, commissions for realtors. There's a whole gamut of expenses that come with that decision. So just to, on one side of the coin, how it's nice in that living in a home provides you that stability, it does not provide you so much in, by way of flexibility if you think you plan to move. So honestly, try to make this at least a five-year plan. Beyond, beyond that, even better. But if you're not thinking you're going to be living within the home for five years at least, at least here in Winnipeg, these numbers tend to ring true consistently, uh, then maybe home ownership is not for, right for you. Maybe you should be looking at renting instead. So in conclusion, the journey to home ownership is full of highs and lows. So as long as you're taking into consideration the positive and the negatives and those positives far outweigh those negatives, I'm always going to be the one cheerleading and pushing you forward to make that home purchase. Honestly, I think regardless of whether or not you are buying or you are renting, you're gonna be paying a mortgage regardless. It's just a matter of who's, right? So I am a huge proponent of home ownership. I do own rental properties as well, uh, just because I believe in the product I sell so much. But again, I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And if you found value in this video today, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me determine just what to record next time. 
Uh, and again, be sure to hit the subscribe button below too because we are running a ton of content this year and I would love for you to see it all. Take care guys.